Are you looking for an all white meat quail? That's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Rednecked video. Again, my name's Chris. If you are not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you wanna do it. Today we're talking about white meat quail. I've gotten a lot of questions about this recently. Let me start off by saying, it doesn't exist, it's a myth. Now what you will hear most of the time is that the Texas A&M birds, they're, they're an all white bird. They have white feathers, no spots on them whatsoever. Sometimes you'll see them with a little black spot on their head. A lot of times those are an English white quail, uh, Coternix anyway. Um, but most of the time what you're talking about is a Texas A&M white quail. Uh, and the, the common uh, theory anyway is that they were bred for size, which is true. They were bred to be bigger and they were bred for all white meat. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but I can tell you it didn't work. They're not white meat birds, not in the sense of what you think of as white meat anyway. Their meat may be a little lighter than most Coternix quail, but it's still a dark meat bird. It's not gonna be anything like what you consider chicken breast. Chicken breast being white meat versus chicken thighs being dark meat. Quail meat is much closer to chicken thighs than it is to chicken breast, and actually it's really different than both of those. It's a much denser meat than chicken is, there isn't much fat on them, so they are much, much leaner, but there's gonna be a lot more flavor in them than what you're used to with, say, white meat chicken breast. It's not at all like that. And there is no quail out there, no Coternix anyway, and no quail that I know of, period, that has, all, that has any white meat on it. It's all dark meat. Now, in my opinion, that's not a bad thing, because in my opinion, chicken breast doesn't really taste like much of anything. You almost have to cook it with something else, chicken stock or, lots of salt and, and, and pepper and, and spices and, and those kinds of things to get it to really taste good. If you just cook it by itself, there's hardly any flavor to it whatsoever and it can tend to be a little bit dry. Now I will say this, quail meat can tend to be a little bit dry as well because it is not, there's no fat on it, it's so lean, uh, but you don't have to worry about flavoring it up much because it has plenty of flavor to it itself. Um, now, most people really like the flavor of quail. If you've never tried it before, I would say if you've tried dove before, it's very, very similar to dove. Um, it almost has, and I almost hesitate to say this because some people think uh, this is gross, but it almost has a hint of a liver taste to it, a little bit of a minerally kind of taste. Um, it's a very dense meat, so you don't need a lot of it to fill yourself up, even though there's not a lot of meat on the bird. And, and I will say, as far as the liver taste goes, if you don't like liver, don't it, it, it's not so much liver that you're gonna taste it and be like, oh my gosh, that tastes like liver. It's not like that. It's just got a hint of that kind of a flavor to it. Um, if you're somebody that really likes liver, then that's a good thing. If you're somebody that doesn't like liver, I will tell you this, most people I've fed quail to, in fact, I can't think of a single person I've ever fed quail to that said they didn't like it. Almost everybody has said, wow, that's really good meat. So don't hesitate to try it out if you've never tried it before. But unfortunately, if you're looking for a white meat in the quail, you're not gonna get it. If you're looking to raise something that produces white meat, you're gonna have to go with either chickens, and that's gonna be the chicken breast, or rabbit. Rabbit is pretty much an all white meat. Um, it's very similar to chicken, white meat chicken, in that it doesn't have much flavor to it. It is gonna be a little bit leaner, so a little bit drier maybe if you don't cook it right. But um, it is, uh, again, a little bit more like a white meat than quail is. Quail is gonna be all dark meat. It doesn't matter what color the feathers are, the meat is still gonna be dark meat. So anyway, hopefully that clears a few things up for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. As always, God bless.